Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. It is an exciting, well an exciting end to the week this week because I am shooting my Holland Cooper collection. So we're heading over to Cheltenham just in a minute. We've literally packed up the car, we've got all the stuff for Bo, all our bits and pieces. We've just had the cleaners around this morning so it's just been a mad rush. I've even managed to get a workout in so I'm feeling great. I'm going to do my makeup when I get there, I've done my hair, nice clean fresh hair, so I'm really 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 excited, it'll just be nice to get out, see people, see Jade, we're going for a lovely evening meal tonight with Jade and Julian at their hotel 131, so that'll be wonderful, I genuinely am so excited to socialise and sit outside and have an evening meal, we've not done that yet, packed up the car and we're going to be on our way! Route. We are 32 minutes off Cheltenham and it's such a lovely, lovely drive this, just straight through country fields and like back to back cute country villages. I mean there was a house back there on the way, literally the entire front was wisteria. Yeah. Absolutely. That must take like a oh, hundred years to grow years that. So. Yeah. The amount of worth it must put on your house as well to have such a stunning tree like that like you can't buy wisteria like that stunning so we've been having a little dry little chat it's a beautiful like there's so many places i'd love to shoot on the way down there's so many like just old buildings and just beautiful fields just golden fields like, there's more wisteria oh, there that wisteria that there. looks that's like that's a full-blown tree there oh look at that they'll be able to see now isn't it three day no. oh. how cute is that little pl oh it's beautiful look how beautiful that is Porch house. Oh, it's beautiful. Where are we? Um, Sheep Street. Braxby. Do you know what? I did this exact same thing last time. Like deja vu or what? I've done this exact same thing before about this exact place. Oh, yes, yeah, we were at the traffic lights and ended up Googling it. Yeah, we? we did, we did, we did, yeah. Have a little look. Oh, it's so nice around here. Oh, isn't it not still on the world, this? No. Stolen the world? Still on the world. <laughs> <laughs> Still in the world. Oh yeah, I remember we waited at these traffic lights for about 15 minutes last oh, time. Yeah, okay. Trees. Beautiful place. Beautiful. See, it's called Stowe. It's called Stowe something. This is what I love about England. This sort of stuff. Oh yeah. This is the beauty. Like the Cotswolds is just. Cotswolds is amazing. Unreal. I would love to buy a Cotswolds house. If we decided that we don't need to be as easily accessible to London anymore, which is kind of getting that way, and especially if things continue the way they have been mm. in terms of you know zoom meetings and not so much going on in london anymore then great we could maybe move somewhere like this because as much as i'd love to that or abroad really i don't know like <sighs> like where amsterdam Ooh. i'd love to live in amsterdam or italy just ask no what is a good place to live in amsterdam well i mean she they love it there what, in the city? Are they in the city, those I guys? Think, I think they're in the middle of Amsterdam, yeah, yeah. That'd be so cool. It'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Mm. That's all, like, that's the only place I'd want to live, I think, would be Amsterdam. Italy? Or Italy. I just really want one of those, like, garden walls that's, like, beautiful brick and, like, with an archway over a big, a little door, so it's, like, a little secret garden. Like, that would be dreamy. I mean, we, um... I know a lot of people are going to be like, you're so inspired by, by Josie and Charlie, but <clears throat> I know Josie and Charlie have just bought themselves a straw top cottage in the Cotswolds, which they're going to kind of rent out as a holiday let. Before they'd bought that, me and Josie were having, we were on a dog walk together. We were chatting about that a few months before and I was saying how I, how I was thinking of doing it too, and she was saying, yeah, we've been thinking about it. Um, so in honesty, that's also something we've been thinking about and I've been searching for a gorgeous little Cotswold property to have for me to kind of convert hi baby um, to kind of convert into a little holiday let cottage property so I'll have to get loads of uh, advice actually from Charlie and Josie on that I know we've already picked their brains a little they bit they really know their stuff don't they yeah they really know their stuff yeah, I mean, since me and Josie talked about it, they obviously <coughs> they obviously kicked their search into full gear and got on it, whereas I, God knows, I got busy with other bits and bobs and then it kind of was back of my bottom of my list. So yes, yeah, so that's a little update for you there, a little impromptu update that I didn't mean to, mean to give you, but seeing as we're in the Cotswolds, I thought I'd, I'd mention the dream. Oh my gosh, look at Is that. this? 
No, it looks a bit like Jade's uh, little place, isn't it? But no. Are we close? No, we're 30 minutes away, yeah. There's three houses there. So you've got two neighbours? And yeah. then you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you have to like your neighbours. God, yeah. Uh, on, if they all like each other, that is dreamy. Mm. If literally. Oh, how nice it would be if you, a friend, and then another friend could buy them and they all live there. Like it with a perfect retirement property. Yeah, retiring wise. For like, with, with two friends, that would mm. be so great. A lot of me, me and my girl mates have kind of got this pact that when we get to a certain age and we're getting a bit more kind of infirm and not able to, you know, do as much as we used to, same in our 80s plus. We want to buy houses like literally next door to each other or in the same level. Or the husbands get a say in this, do they? Or we dead by this point. Oh, shush! <laughs> of course the husbands get a say, but the idea is that we then all look after each other. You know what I mean? That's the idea. <laughs> I don't know if I told you about that. No, but... no. Does this involve us moving back up north? I don't know. It might Ooh, do. Bird in the road. Bird in the road, it's a pheasant in the road. Get out the road! Oh, what a gorgeous little bird that mm. is. Jocelyn or something. Oh, it's beautiful. So that's our life plan. Buy, buy a Cotswold house maybe for us. Buy a Cotswold house as a holiday let property. Uh, move to the countryside with friends when we're 80 to die there. Wh whilst moving to Amsterdam at the same time. Whilst moving to Amsterdam in the, in the interim. Yeah. So, we'll see you when we get to... So we're staying at the George Hotel. We stayed at the George before. No, no, it's it's another one that Jade and Julian own. Because um, 131 currently isn't open, whereas because the George is smaller, they're able to have people for business, for business trips. So with this being a photo shoot, that's why we're staying there right now. But it'll be open from next week. Next week, back to indoor eating, indoor staying, and, ah, and having people in your house. Oh yeah, is that what's happening? Yeah. Brilliant. As of next week, well, only a few people in your house. I think it might be six people at the top. We don't but... know six people, so it's okay. <laughs> sure. We've made it, and we've exploded. <laughs> we've exploded into this room. Oh, don't worry, Dad. He's coming back. Daddy's coming back any minute. He's just gone to the car. Okay, you'll be all right. <laughs> One second. We've just exploded into the room, but they put a little dog bed in here for us. It's really nice. It is just like. Beautiful, typical style of the Jane Julian's Hotel. It's just so, like, super chic, stylish. Everything's so well thought out with these hotels. They're gorgeous. Super just Georgian style. Lovely big bed. I love the colour scheme in here. It's so beaut. They've left us some flowers, which is so, so sweet. Ooh, where are you off to? Okay, I'm getting paranoid. I'm gonna close it a tiny bit just so you definitely can't crawl through there. Quick flash makeup on. We have just been filming actually a, a campaign for Jimmy Tube. I can't say much more, but we've just been filming a really cute little reel in the hotel room. That's why I'm all dolled up. Got all my lipstick on, I'm all ready. So I'm just gonna get myself changed. We are going for dinner, like I said, with Jade Julian and the team at 131. We've managed to get a table out there, although it's meant to be packed, like jam-packed. And that area of 131 is massive. So everyone's in the same mindset. Eat outside, enjoy social time. So I'm just gonna get some clothes on. Not sure what to wear. Ready to go. I've got my beautiful black and green coat on for the evening. And my one of my, one of my most used body suits, white jeans. I'm all hung cooped now actually, because it's, it's all I've brought for the shoot. So very, very excited for gin and tonic and some delicious food. Chill, it really is rather lovely, isn't it? What's that up there? So this is 131 up here. Just realised we're all wearing we're all wearing like long, lovely I coats, know. aren't we? It's like a uniform. I know. Nice long coat. Nice long coat. Nice long coat. We need to get Bo a longer coat so he fits in better. So here it is, this is 131, the Polly's gazebo's up. So it's even more ready for the rain. Although We've got some nice weather today. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, so this is the Candy Floss cocktail. <laughs> We've all got one. This is new. Yeah, little flowers on them. Like and so this is so delicious as well. It's like a strawberry gin mix. But you get it with all these candy floss. It is an extreme trip. is already like knee deep in candy floss. Do you want the candy floss? No. Climbing the walls? Hell no. Hello, good morning everybody, day of the shoot. We had a fantastic evening last night, so good. I can't believe that restaurant and bar, I mean, it goes on for so long around, or like wraps around the entire building. 
and it was packed. Every table was packed out the whole night. It was such a fantastic time. I feel like I just chewed Julian's ear off about super dry and the whole like the whole Neymar collaboration and sponsorship that they're doing. Just like catching up with him about everything and also Jade and Julian had their gorgeous little baby girl Sophia over over lockdown so we had a good little chat about her. Yeah so it was just really really nice and today is the shoot so we're gonna quickly nip back to 131 now for breakfast and they do a fantastic breakfast so we're going for breakfast and then we're packing up the car and heading to the shoot. So this is breakfast of choice. Scrambled eggs, avocado, smoked salmon and toast. Alex has Bloody Mary. In fact we all went for pretty much the same thing didn't we? And coffees. And little baby Bo has his own pot of sausage and he is loving life right now. <laughs> Look at him on his little throne. He is the luckiest boy. <laughs> baby ever. <laughs> Bon appetit, my teammates! So we're back in the studio. I'm having my makeup done again. I'm looking far more glowy than I did this morning in the mirror. We're shooting the four looks, but we're shooting them editorial style and then e-commerce style. So we've got some like incredible like boss photos and then more like retail photos. So I'm really looking forward to this. And we're just doing my normal kind of bronzy, glowy, mm -hmm. wonderful vibe. Okay. So we're putting lots of product in my hair so it's gonna look fabulous. Can't wait. Can't wait to get shooting. <laughs> Okay, hair and makeup is all done. Denise has done the most beautiful glowy look on me. It's kind of very me, but elevated. We're shooting the pink blazer first. So I made a full white look with, with the tan accents, like the tan bell, and I've got my fatigue as well. And then we're gonna put on the, and then we're gonna put on the pink blazer um, over top. So I'm really looking forward to getting shooting now. Oh wow, look. Look good. <gasps> Gosh, that looks amazing. Oh, look at that collar. Wow. Yeah, so, you and Lillian today. So, it's so feminine though, isn't it? It's yeah. like kind of feminine but strong. I love it. to see that. Yeah, this is super cool. And how amazing does this place look? I love that. He's not leaving your side, is he? <laughs> look at him. It's like guarding. So good. Love it. Yeah, that's beautiful. This place would not have been to be so Look at that. Bradley, do you just want to do, get a couple more and just go in super tight? You see where Victoria is here? Yeah. <laughs> stay, stay where you are, yeah, perfect. Isn't it so mean it's outfit? Little bralette. It's my favourite look so far, I think. Is it really? The images are amazing that we've shot. <laughs> okay guys we are sort of halfway through the shoot we are now up to the dresses we've been shooting the blazers i've done a couple of different looks with the camel blazer and the pink blazer they look unbelievable lillian is currently shooting and she is just phenomenal she's absolutely beautiful and it's just so nice to see the designs on a model as well because obviously seeing them on me is very different to seeing them on other people and they, it just they look amazing so i'm just i can't wait for this to come out I just can't wait so i am now in the pink dress with my aquasura heels that i love so much loving my hair this is this little slip back bun super glowy my usual kind of lip 
yeah, loving all the hair and makeup. And then after this, we're gonna change to a wet look and change into the Victoria fabric dress, which is a limited edition dress. It's been a good boy. You've been a good boy. You're everyone's best friend today, aren't you, darling? You are so tired. Too much attention for tiny dogs. <laughs> um, as soon as Lillian's finished shooting, she's actually already shot the Victoria dress. She's now on to the last look. So after she's shot that, I'm going to get in and then I need to change another two times. Yeah, just having the best time. I just love this team so much. We're going full wet look. Like. Like all pushed back, wet look, maybe a couple of little bits in my face, quite like sexy and grungy. And that's with the Victoria dress. It'll be a really like completely different look from the previous one, so yeah. it'll be really different. everyone's best friend today it was so cute like team mascot the looks were amazing I've like absolutely in love with my hair and makeup so it's just been fantastic the whole time is not it so yeah I'm thrilled to bits so the team were just saying then that they're gonna be creating the product page for each of the four pieces so that from tomorrow which is right now for you guys watching this you'll be able to sign up with the size that you want like put your name down that just helps keep you on the wish list for that item and then when it actually launches we're hoping to do a, a really quick pre-sale for you guys so there'll be a small allotted time that there'll be a link like a secret link for my audience only to go buy the collection before it opens up to all the rest of the Holland Cooper fans and customers so that's quite exciting so it's be a little limited time i'll leave links down below to each of the four pieces so the two blazers and the two dresses you'll be able to sign up for the size that you would want for that piece and then as soon as they come online you'll get an email to say the piece is online i just can't wait to see the pictures edited and finished everyone seemed to just love the pictures i'm thrilled to bits i just feel so lucky that i have this opportunity. I mean, what an absolute dream to do this. So, yeah. Hello, everybody. It's Saturday, my favourite day of the week, because these days I actually give myself Saturdays off, which is just dreamy. I used to do a lot of work on Saturdays. I mean, don't get me wrong, quite often we'll go out and we'll take blog post pictures and that sort of thing. The odd Instagram, and I'm still posting. So that's what I'm gonna talk about, but I'm not like filming, I'm not feeling any pressure of work. So today so far, I've done my morning spin, it's two o'clock, I've done my morning spin, a really good 45 minute rock ride, like emo classics, like Cartel, Flyleaf, Jack's Mannequin, Fallout Boy, All American Rejects, American Hi-Fi, some great tracks, loving that so much. We've just had jacket potatoes with tuna for lunch, my favourite. I feel like we go through jacket potatoes recently, like, like we need our own field, we're going through so many. And, um, and now I have just washed my hair because to be honest, I still had it the way it was after the, sh the shoot the other day after I had like copious amounts of mousse in it to make it all slipped back. So I've finally had a bit of a pamper session and I thought I'd say hello. I found this towel the other day. This is so great. 
I must admit, I feel it's a tiny, tiny bit too big for me, but it's it's like a wraparound towel that like that buttons in to itself. And it has like a little pocket here. So it's literally like the dream. Oh, someone's outside. Yeah, just getting myself ready for the morning. Cooking off with my ZO cleanser, I'm still on this. I mean, it's, it's enormous. And I literally use that much every time I use it. So it's gonna take me a bit of time to get through this, which is great, but. So the plan, the plan really today now, because we've just really taken it easy, woke up really kind of naturally this morning, kind of laying until eight. So I'm feeling really good today. So I think the plan is I'm just gonna get ready. Alex has a little bit of content to shoot for his Harrison channel and I'm gonna help him with that. We may go out for a little dog walk. It's just horrible, horrible weather. It's really getting me down. Now this weather, I mean, it's mid-May and it's just like autumn. It's just really crap. It just does not get you down. I just wanna sit outside my own house and have a drink. Like, <laughs> ball of heaven look ball <laughs> oh little ruby ball so cute <laughs> well that was just adorable we managed to find Bo's favourite ball Alex bought three of them so he is currently going crazy downstairs with the ball still so that'll be him for the rest of the day he just he's like obsessed with them if you just got a new dog or any dog and they want a new toy honestly the squeaky little balls Bo is literally obs like obsessed with them carry on with my skincare routine today shall we I'm gonna use my usual my usual toner the Illuminate MD bright and clear it's nice that I don't have to put any makeup on today. I can just have great skincare all day. At the moment, I'm trying to get to the very bottom of this pot of La Mer, the La Mer Eye Concentrate. I'm almost, almost at the bottom. It's, it's such a good feeling when you do actually finally use up skincare products like in full. It's such a nice feeling. And you can go into a nice fresh new pot. Quite a lot of eye creams that I've been using recently, so. This one I have been loving. Um, then for the serum, I'm gonna try, this is brand new to me, the Vichy Aqualia Volcano Drop. I'm pretty sure this has, let's quickly Google it. It's got squalane in here. Vichy Aqualia Volcano Drop. This has light reflecting power, envelops your skin in moisture, intense hydration, hyaluronic acid, infused with squalane. To repair the skin's natural moisture barrier, uplift your complexion. Sounds great. Let's give this a whirl. I literally got this the other day in PR and it just looked really quite lovely. I love this. Um, I've never seen a dropper like that before. Really cute. Really nice. Ooh, I like this. It's really lightweight. Like really light. Like it just feels like it's sunk into the skin. Oh, I like that. That's just such a lovely, easy, Easy peasy layer. Do you know what? I've put that on and I just wish I'd put on a little bit more. <laughs> I wish I'd put on a little bit more serum. So I'm gonna kind of go back to back to front. I'm gonna go in with the um the press serum from Lumine because I just really love this product. Like super intense hydration and it just makes your skin feel so like silky. Honestly, I can't tell you how wonderful it is rubbing that in. Usually I would do the press serum first and the Vichy on top, but I was just playing around with products. And um, I'm gonna finish off. I know I'm in the house, but just to put on some um, some SPF, the Declior 50 plus some face cream. In fact, I've literally just done a blog post about sun creams. If you are looking for some recommendations of new sun creams to use, new bra. Sorry, this keeps falling down. I think this, if you're a size eight, this would be fine. Or a size 10, because it stretches. Potentially even to a size 12, this would work fine it's just it's a little bit too big for me it's just such a shame because i love it i really really love it the little pocket quite like that it's really voluminous and bouncy but not like too frizzy 
I've never used, I've never used this, and in fact, this is the wrong attachment. I just found this from my other one that used to be pink. I've never used this attachment before. So I thought I'd, rather than air off my hair, I thought instead I would use this and just kind of brush it through and see how it worked. And it just gives it, it's almost like a straight blow dry. It's really nice and like really healthy and voimous. Nice, great. I know I said I wasn't gonna put on any, <laughs> I wasn't gonna put on any makeup, but then I just kind of sat down and started reaching for things and it just escalated. And then touch. Done. Great, okay. On with today's tasks. Okay guys, we decided to go for a dog walk. It's about half five now, I think. And the weather, oh, I mean, it's a bit dull still, but it came out a little bit brighter. So we thought we'd take Bo for a little walk while we can. Thrown on this, just thrown this on. Well, no, no, I've put on, on this gorgeous beige blazer. Really cinched it in with this new belt. Absolutely love this, so cute. Little gold necklace. My usual black faux leather trousers, best investment piece ever, as most of you know by now. Talk about them all the time. I don't know what bag to take. I might actually take a little Bulgari raffia bag. This is cute. I'm going to wear it. Bring in a bit of the summery vibes. Off we go. The weather is all over the place. We literally, as I turned off the camera earlier, Went downstairs, put on our boots. We literally opened the front door to leave, like completely ready with coats, and the heavens just opened, typically. So we did half an hour and it's just stopped. I mean, the weather is still, I mean, look how gloomy that is. But we've come out for a quick dog walk, hopefully, to stretch our legs and stretch Bo's little legs. Well, it's been an absolute failure of an afternoon. Not a failure of a day, because I actually really quite enjoyed my morning and getting bits and bobs done around the house and my workout. But that, that walk, like I said, it rained, we went out, and of course it rained again as we went out. <laughs> so we very quickly came home. But not all is lost. We're gonna make ginger cashew balls. It's a delicious Ella cashew ginger balls. And they're such an amazing snack to have in. Did we work out the other day that for us to make, how many did you make, about 12? Um, yeah, 12, 12 or 13. We reckon it probably costs about between five and six pounds to make them. I think it's less than that. I reckon it's probably, I reckon it's probably about five pounds. And I need to work it out properly, but probably about five pound. But if you were to buy 12 deliciously Ella balls, they're around two pound each. So you're talking 24 quid? I had no more than two pound each. Yeah, between two and 250, I think, for a little one. So we're gonna make them, and we're gonna make them in the new Thermomix. We got Thermomix. Our um, previous blender packed in. I told Rebecca the other day, and she was like, no, rest in peace. Me and Rebecca used that pink... Um, You've had that as long as I've known you. Wasn't it a KitchenAid blender? Was it not? What, what brand was that? I don't know. It's pink. <laughs> oh, it's a really good one though. Like, it cost me a bit, that. Yeah, it had loads of cool attachments, but mm. it, it was literally 15 years old. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was so old. It was so old. Honestly, Josie totally sold this to us. So we got a Thermomix. Pride of place on here now. I used to have my K-Mix there. The Kenwood K-Mix. Uh, and I've, that's been put into another cupboard now for when I make, well, anything else. But chances are, I likely just use this most of the time now. So we're trying to get to grips with how to use it. Yeah, um, I mean, I've, I've used it once and I think it's incredible. I've not yet used it. So. I want to make it make soup and stuff in it. I'm, I'm interested in how it can actually heat things and yeah, me too. fry it as well, like an air fryer. I think it does a bit of everything. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. I was saying, guys, that 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 the end of that walk when the rain came down, I was just like, we need to get home and make a gin, make this day better. 200 grams of cashews. And 50 grams of oats. So first of all, you're gonna to want to mix the oats and the cashews, and you wanna basically blitz them into a flour. 
Okay. Do you put the lid on? No, you let it. Just leave it open and then just let it go around the room and shut that's how I make it. Shut up! <laughs> you aim so cheeky. You ready? Really? Okay. So you can time it here. So if you wanted to kind of have it go for however many seconds, you can also do temperature here, but obviously we don't need to. Wow, cool. And then here, you can pick how fast it goes. So you can like... I absolutely shook out my skin then. I thought it was blowing up. Wow. Gosh, what a difference to our old blender. I know. That would have taken maybe five minutes. Yeah, on the last one, it basically used to just stick to all the sides. You had to get a spoon and basically scoop it off and then bang it back on yeah. again. And like shake the blender. Exactly. So then do you put the date straight into here then? Yeah, so then you just basically bang your 200 grams of dates into that. Dates. And then, and then I put two heat teaspoons of ginger in. Love ginger. Not yeah, actually. that's a, that's not even a teaspoon that day. That's tiny. It's absolutely minuscule. Yeah, well. Yeah. Wait till, Get it in. Wait till it blows your head off later. And then what I always like to do as well is just put a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. Mm. And then, this isn't in the recipe, but I think it totally... I personally, I think it's missing from the recipe because the way you made them last time with this is completely how they come in the packets. Yeah, I think they're, they do have a bit of coconut oil. There's no way there's no coconut oil in those recipes, I don't think. Unless the dates are just extra slimy. Maybe. <laughs> Deliciously Ella uses. Who slimy knows? dates. Right, okay. You so. were a slimy date once. Shut up! Yes. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, it looks like it's almost started mixing it for you yeah. into balls. Brilliant. So that's good. I'm cool. That. Oh, thanks babe for making them. I've shown you these before, but these were, these were from the cocktail man. You order them, they come through your door and you get all the little bits inside and the ingredients list. I think we've already had one drink from this. So I'm going to make another. I don't think there's going to be quite enough for me. So I'm going to make this one for Alex and that makes one for me after that. So 20 mils of the gin. I think we'll just have enough of that. 10 ml of Campari and 20 ml of this slick here. Little orange. Make it a double, he says. Fine by me. Sweet. Rhubarb and ginger Negroni. Boozy. Is it? I'm not surprised. Babe, no, you're making them a bit small, you, I think. No, I'm not. I think you are. No, I'm not. Because I want a nice, like, sizable bowl when I'm having a snack. No, you. That's not, a, that's not a proper ball, that. Lumpy balls. What are we going to watch tonight? There's a, a psychological thriller on Netflix that's just come out. It's all right, okay. Anyway, it's called The Woman in the Window. Um, I, that's going to be too scary for me, that bit. It's a psychological thriller. I think I've seen a little video of that. What's he doing? He's like rubbing himself along the carpet. Yeah, I think he's well. happy. What, what, did we watch, what did we watch last week? What was that film we watched in bed with... Um, Michael B. Jordan. Oh, um, No Remorse? Yeah, Tom Clancy's No Remorse. That was, that was good. good. Rebecca recommended that and it was actually really, really good. Supposedly there's a bit after the credits that we should have watched. You're joking. Oh, it leads on to a potential... Who the hell still does that stuff? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's annoying. It's not 1999 anymore. No, I know. Jeez Louise. It's got a very born ultimatum. Like born supremacy, whatever, born identity vibe about it. I know what we should watch tonight. Oh my god, born supremacy. No. No. Hey darling. <laughs> he wants to say what we watch. What do you what do you want to watch for? He wants to watch dogs frolicking in fields. <laughs> I was gonna say, can we can we rewatch John Wick again? From the oh start. Oh my god, will you Please. get off my back? It's about the John. best, it's the best action film. Yeah, but I've watched it so many times. I don't times. care. I want to watch it again. I want to watch a okay. new film. Can we, can we watch a film we've never watched together, which is my second favourite film of all time? That's how I feel. No, babe. Come on. We've never watched it together. I don't know what you're going to say. In ten years, we've never watched my favourite film together. What? True Romance. Yeah, we have. No, we haven't. We have not watched that together. Can we watch a film we've never seen before? Well, if you find a good one, we've never seen. Oh. We've seen most of them. We've seen most of the films. You just want to watch old films all the time. No, I just haven't watched True Romance in so long, and it's such a fantastic I will. I'll, movie. If we can't find it, we'll watch. We'll watch that. Yay! But I do want to watch a new Thanks, film. There's a few babe. films out at the minute I want to watch. Okay. So we've 
of May, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 balls there, see? Little balls. Mm, 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 mm. Pets, it, pets at home, they're two pound each, but like a lucky dip, you ever get like a little rugby ball or a little little football. He's literally mm. looking at me right now. Come here. Oh, he's so fluffy. And the squeak back. lasts about half an hour, thankfully, <laughs> because it's like the loudest squeak. It's so loud. Yeah. Um, right, let's make dinner. So I want to do a tuna soir salad. We've got diced yellowfin tuna, and I want to kind of do it in a salt and pepper crust. Okay, so we have skewered um, salt and pepper tuna steak with hopefully perfect eggs. They'll be like nice and runny over a spinach rocket, coriander um, salad, and I've got some toasted pine nuts and almonds in there. And then we did a little caprese salad on the side and we've got olives and we've got gins. So this looks divine. Whoop, whoop. Needless to say, I am very full. I finished off dinner with ice cream and I melted down leftover Hotel Chocolat Easter eggs to pour over the ice cream. So that was my nice little treat dessert and I'm finishing off my gin and we're gonna go and sit in Alex's room, cut, like curl up all three of us together and watch a movie. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, it's probably been quite a long one actually at this point. But remember, if you do wanna sign up for any of the beautiful Holland Cooper pieces, I'll leave the links down below for each piece. All you have to do is go on the website, enter the size you'd like, and then enter your email address. And it just means that we can kind of work out how many sizes, how many pieces, that sort of thing. So thank you so much, guys. If you've enjoyed today's vlog, thank you for um, your support on the, on the Holland Cooper collection. I'm, just over the moon, I can't wait. And I'll see you in my next one, but don't forget, I did post two other videos this week. A beauty video all about how I do my palest skin makeup when I have absolutely no tan on. And I also filmed, that will be just on the screen. And if you would like to watch my styling video this week, how I style all black outfits, that again will be on the screen. So hope you enjoy them. I will see you in my next one. Bye.